A couple of days ago, somebody sent me a DM asking how breast implants are affected by strenuous exercise. And the assumption there is that we're talking about an under the muscle implant, which is by far the most common type of breast augmentation that's performed in the United States these days. In my experience, the answer to this is, does it really matter? Mostly it does, but mostly in that early post-operative period. That's why I have all of my patients really have to be diligent about staying out of the gym, not exercising, doing anything really strenuous with your arms or your chest for that first six week period after surgery. And then when you start back, start back slow. When we put an implant in anywhere in the body, your body naturally forms a scar capsule around that implant, whether it's a breast implant, a knee implant, a hip implant, whatever. And so you want that scar capsule to form around the breast implant when the breast implant is where we want to put it. If you start stressing that implant and that implant capsule in the early period before that capsule has had a chance to form well, all you're doing is pushing that implant around, the chest muscle smashing down on the top of that implant, and the implant goes to kind of the path of least resistance. If your inframammary crease, your breast fold is intact, hasn't been violated, which is we try not to violate that during surgery, and if we do, we repair it. But if that fold is intact, where that implant then wants to go is out into your armpit. And that's really not what you want. And you see this a lot with submuscular implants over time, especially in people that work out, that implant gets slowly pushed out into your armpit, which in clothes may not look bad, but then when you lay down, you find your implants kind of fall out to the side. And so I really encourage my patients to a, choose an appropriate size implant. Don't choose some massive implant that is going to be more than your body can handle, is gonna cause a lot of pressure on your implant just because of its size when your chest flexes. But then also be diligent about devoting enough recovery time so that you're not pushing that implant out towards your armpit in the first six weeks or so right after surgery. So I hope that answers your question. As always, send me a DM. You can send me an email if you've got any ideas for things you'd like to hear on the show, media at drjasonhall.com. Thanks for listening.